I have always very much liked the perspective offered by our former general of the Society of Jesus, Father Pedro Rupe. He said, certainly we desire to bear witness, not to some ideology or virtue, but to Jesus Christ, to his love, and to the freedom that he has given us. We are called to be such witnesses by practicing the evangelical counsels. Of course, we do not close our eyes to the world around us with all of its forms of poverty. My name is Father Herb Keller. For 32 years of my priesthood, I served in Jesuit secondary education in the roles of principal and president. For the past seven years, I've been in various administrative posts in higher education, including a year as interim president. In the fall, uh, I will be doing full-time teaching and pastoral ministry at our Jesuit high school here in Scranton, uh, Scranton Prep School. I believe that one of the greatest gifts of our vow of poverty uh, is this realization. Our time is not our own. My time is not my own. It belongs to my students, uh, to parishioners, belongs to my brother Jesuits, belongs to my colleagues, it belongs to those who come to me uh, in need. My life uh, is not my own. Our outpouring of self is in union with Christ who is poor. Pope Francis, I believe, said it best. Uh, when talking about poverty, he wrote these words, learning to give and not simply to give things up. I believe that is at the heart of our understanding, uh, of my understanding of our vow of poverty. So let me then share with you uh, two examples that to me uh, illustrate the link between mission and freedom, availability, and poverty. The first comes again from Father Arupe uh, in familiar words spoken by him after he suffered a stroke and as he faced the end of his days on earth. He wrote famously, more than ever, I find myself in the hands of God. This is what I have wanted all my days of my life from my youth. But now there is a difference. This initiative is entirely with God. It is indeed a profound spiritual experience to know and feel myself so totally in God's hands. What Father Arupe expresses here really is the ultimate stance of one who is poor with Christ one who places himself totally in God's hands, one whose time is not his own. His mission, freedom and availability are turned over to Christ, whose poverty uh, we seek to imitate. Uh, I was privileged and blessed to have been elected to attend the 36th General Congregation of the Society of Jesus of uh, six years ago. Early in the congregation, Father Adolfo Nicolas stood before the assembled members in the Curia Hall and submitted his resignation as Superior General of the Society of Jesus. His words were full of strong conviction, spiritual reflection, and personal honesty. Above all, his words were full of a humility and a faith that spoke powerfully uh, to each Jesuit in the hall. He left the hall to thunderous applause and much emotion among the assembled members. What struck me most then was the ease and the sense of peace that Father Nicholas displayed at that moment. Here was a man uh, who was peacefully stepping aside from one of the most powerful positions in the church because he believed it was God's will and desire for him to do so. To me, that indifference and openness are the keys to understanding and living our vow of poverty. It is the availability and the freedom that I pray for 
uh, as I seek to imitate Jesus, who became poor for my sake.